Maine Secretary of State Matt Dunlap is doing something that people in his position do not typically do. He is making national news. Here's the background. Early in 2017, Dunlap was appointed to a presidential commission asked to investigate alleged voter fraud. The commission came about in large part because Donald Trump claimed he would have won the popular vote in the presidential election had it not been for people who voted illegally. In October, Dunlap took the remarkable step of suing the commission. Why? Because he said it was not providing him with any information about the most basic matters, such as when the commission's next meeting would be held, what was on the agenda, and what its staff was working on. These are things to which you've been given no guidance? None. I, I chaired the Marsh Island Community Deer Task Force, and we had better access to more information on that task force than I have on a national presidential commission. As you have mentioned, perhaps the most flagrant example of commission members not being informed about what was going on occurred in the fall when a researcher for the commission was charged with possession of child pornography. You didn't know about this until a reporter asked you about it. You had not been informed of it by the commission. I wrote a formal letter saying I want to know what our communications are. You know, what's happened with this fellow? And that was on, uh, that article came out on October 14th. Um, as of today, in December, I still don't have an answer to, to what his disposition is. Now, to compare and contrast, when I was in the legislature chairing the Fish and Wildlife Committee, the Commissioner of Fish and Wildlife was waiting for me at the door to the House chamber to give me a heads up in early January that one of the game wardens had been out rabbit hunting and had forgotten to buy a hunting license and had been checked by another warden and it might get in the news and you want to have a heads up on it. Now that's a pretty minor news story, but the commissioner gave me the courtesy of, of information and you know, here this is a major criminal uh, allegation against a, a top staffer of a national commission and I don't know what his disposition is. Is he on leave? Has he resigned? Has he been fired? I don't know. It was that episode that prompted Dunlap to sue the Election Fraud Commission, of which he is a member. And I said, look, I have legal standing to get this information. Yeah, I want to know what we're working on, who we're talking to, and what conversations are happening that affect our work and what our schedule is. And um, the response I got pretty much was, we'll see you in court. Let's go back to the beginning. President Trump created this commission on election in integrity. He had talked about how he thought he would have won the popular vote in the 2016 presidential election had it not been for ballots that were illegally cast. That was sort of the foundation on which this commission was built. Do you agree with that premise? You know, the, what we see in elections is that people don't know what they're doing. They make mistakes. Um, they don't understand the law. They don't understand how to handle an absentee ballot. That's how it most commonly manifests itself. But um, by and large, the, 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 the idea that there's wholesale wrongdoing going on in, in our national elections, I believe is just utter fiction. From the beginning, there have been questions about the makeup of this commission. Uh, very early in 2016, before the members had even been appointed by the president, one person who ended up being on the commission sent an email criticizing the appointment of Democrats and mainstream Republicans to this commission. Was the deck stacked right from the beginning? The vice president said at our very first meeting that there were no preordained outcomes. And, and I, for one, take him at his word, but I don't think everyone shares that sentiment. I think there are people on the commission who have very definitive ideas of what they want to see enacted as reforms. In July, you had a public meeting in Washington, D.C. 19th in Washington. In September, you had a public meeting in New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, yes. So that is uh, three months ago. Has anything happened that you have been involved in with this commission since then, since September? Uh, not to my knowledge. What is happening? What is going on? What is this body doing? Well, in, in, dis, in a fairly dismissive tone about my, my complaint in the court, they said, well, there's nothing going on. You know, there's no information to give Secretary Dunlap. And, and my response to that is, why not? I mean, there's so much interest in this and so much public scrutiny. Why aren't we doing anything? I mean, one just simple question. I assume the commission has a staff. Every taxpayer wants to make sure that his or her dollars are not being utterly wasted in Washington, D.C. If there are staffers who are on the federal government payroll on this commission and you don't know what they're doing, 
Who does know what they're doing? I really don't have any answer, which is why I'm asking the question. What are we working on? Because I don't know. After you filed the lawsuit, the vice chairman of the commission said that your action was baseless and paranoid. Um, yeah, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking for anything I don't think classified or sensitive. I'm not asking for sensitive information. I mean, I, what are we working on? This is a commission looking into election integrity. Should the American people have confidence in the integrity of the commission's final report, assuming one does come out? Uh, that, is remet that, that remains to be seen. My hope would be yes, the public could have confidence in that. And part of my role here now, uh, unexpectedly, is to help hold my colleagues accountable and make sure that we're, we are acting in the public interest. Matt Dunlap says in filing the lawsuit, he wasn't out to grandstand and had doubts, serious doubts, he says, about whether he should sue the commission. He says, though, that when he read the legal brief for the suit, he thought to himself, okay, it's that simple. What is the commission working on? And shouldn't members know about it?